relationship with Jesus is the most important relationship. Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack Friends, brothers, and sisters, nothing can stop God's plan for your life. Reflect and be blessed. Blessed Saturday, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, my dear kababayans, and my dear faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack. Today is May 14, 2022, and today is Saturday within the fourth week of Easter. And our gospel for today is from the beautiful account of John, chapter 15, verses 9 to 17. By the way, today the church celebrates the feast day of St. Matthias. He was chosen by Lot to replace Judas who betrayed Jesus. Now, the gospel for today is inviting me and you and it reminds us for three important challenges. Number one, the gospel is telling us and inviting us to remain in God's love. I love the word remain. It means get connected, be connected, have connection with Jesus. Jesus wanting us to abide in His commandment. Because if we stay, if we abide, if we remain, the gospel says our joy will be complete. In short, my dear brothers and sisters, relationship and connection with Jesus is the best connection a human can have. Relationship with Jesus is the most important relationship. Do not cut your relationship with Jesus. Do not cut your connection with Jesus because if you stay, your joy will be complete. And second, the gospel for today is also inviting us to love one another. You know, love one another and you will be happy. Love one another and your joy will be complete. Love one another. Do not rob one another. Do not use one another. Do not hate one another. Do not destroy one another. But love one another. Jesus said, love one another. He didn't say, love the things of this world. To love means to sacrifice yourself for others. And Jesus proved His love by dying on the cross. Mother friends, mother brothers and sisters, the invitation for you and for me is to love without condition. When you love, follow the example of Jesus. And finally, if we stay and if we choose to love, we will be fruitful. Why? Because love will make all things beautiful. I say it again, if you choose to stay and if you choose to love, love will make all things beautiful. And do all things with love and you will discover how beautiful and amazing our world is. Friends, other followers, other good people of God, don't get tired to love when you say I love you to someone it means you are declaring blessings and fullness of life to that someone friends other brothers and sisters don't get tired to love because love is the other name 